My buddy Max and I are here to tell you a little bit about using the Panda Planner. Isn't that right, Max? Well, the Panda Planner is the second one I've been trying this year. I like it so far. I think it's got a lot of good qualities. It's a nice size. It's a little more compact. It's got lots of little ribbons here. It's got three little ribbons where you can um, mark your place in it, and we'll see why in a bit. A couple things that uh, are different about it compared with other planners. Max, where are you going, buddy? Uh, the way they lay out the days, it is still a two-page layout for each day, but I like the fact that the day and date are not uh, prescribed up here, so it doesn't say Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or anything like that. So if you stop using it, so you go on vacation or something like that, um, you can uh, leave gaps. So I think that's kind of useful if you're traveling for a day and not much is going to be happening. Um, it might be good to be able to leave those gaps. Uh, might last, last you a lot longer as far as uh, how many months you're able to get out of this planner. On each day it has I'm grateful for, I'm excited about, affirmation, focus, exercise. So some basic things you want to be thinking about in your day. I like this because in the other planner I was using, these things were included, but they were included in the front, and so you just have a little checkbox as to whether you did them those days. Today's priorities, you have five of them rather than three. A little place for a schedule, some tasks, and then a, the end of day review. Now because these aren't all sequential, you'll find that there's also sections in here for weeks. So the week sections are separated, and that's probably why we have these extra little ribbons here to put our placeholders, but um, you're going to have to be going back and forth. So you, don't, so you don't go through your days and at the end of the week, Saturday or Sunday, encounter a thing for planning the next week and reflecting on the previous week. Instead you have to go to the front to do that. So maybe that's a disadvantage for some people, maybe they won't like that as well. There is a monthly planning as well, so you can uh, mark out your months and you can look at kind of the major things that are happening during those uh, months as well. But so far I like it. I think it's um, a little more compact, uh, has more of the things I want to be thinking about uh, in it. I do like the two aspects of the Michael Hyatt planner that I mentioned before in the previous video about planning your ideal week and thinking about your major goals. I've actually just put those into a notebook uh, that I've been um, journaling in or writing in. Also has a nice little pocket in the back here so I put my little tile in here so I won't lose the thing or I can identify where the heck it's got to or where I lost it. So that's a Panda planner, been using it only for a couple weeks. Um, so far, so good. We'll see how it works out at the end of this quarter. So let me know if you have ideas, if you've used this planner before, if you have other suggestions. Um, I'm going to still be using this in concert with OmniFocus. I did look at uh, Asana and some other options. So if you have suggestions, if you have uh, other recommendations for what to check out next quarter, I'd really appreciate it.